Hey, what's up guys? This is Asnan and you're watching Training Codes. So I hope you guys are absolutely fine. And in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to start learning about the containers, row classes and the basic Flutter layouts. OK, so uh, I hope you have uh, or you have a knowledge of creating a new Flutter app. If you have missed my uh, first video of the uh, of particular uh, installation and creating a Hello World app, you just go ahead and take a look on that, okay? And um, create a new app, and inside the new app, you're going to get a first or a pre-built layout, something like this. But we are not going to use this layout at all. We're going to clean up our dot file, main dot file, and we are going to write our own code right away, okay? So. The very first thing is we are going to use a container and um, before creating a container I'll just show you how to use a material app and inside the material app we're going to use a scaff hole. So um, just go ahead and remove the stuff uh, and just uh, all those things okay so um, right and remove this class as well we don't need that because we're going to create our own class and we are going to implement the new thing by our own so uh, the things are clear okay and uh, we just have uh, three lines of code and for the first thing is it is kind of import because we are going to we are going to use a material design so we have to import flutter of material dot and inside that we have a main method which is calling our my app class which is right over here and it is extending uh, stateless widget now as I told you in my previous video if you have missed my previous video you just go ahead and take a look on that because that is the more important video and right inside that as I told you when we create a class we need to override build method so we will just go ahead and override it and after overriding um, we are going to create a build method okay and the build uh, Right, just like that and inside the build um, we cannot cr uh, we cannot return a null thing okay and if we do that we are going to get an error right away inside of our uh, inside of our emulator okay so um, if you if you just go ahead and uh, reload the app um, you're going to get the error okay inside the uh, see as you can see we are going we are going to we cannot return a null okay inside the build okay so um, we are going to use material app class right over here so it's going to return a uh, new material uh, material app okay uh, just over here and the material app is going to have a new scaff hole and it's going to be our our home okay so the home is going to our our new material scaff hole so uh, new scaffold okay so um see if you're not using a scaffold we are using the widget without the scaffold what we're going to get is um, instead of using scaffold first we will use our text widget okay so just go ahead and uh, just text widget and the text is going to take an uh, parameter as a uh, well so we'll just go ahead and write in hello and just go ahead and save it so after saving that it's going to reload and if you if you'll just take a look on the screen um, you're going to get something like this so can you see we are using a text outside the scaffold and we are going we are getting some text something like this obviously which is not using the material UI text so to use material design text or material design widgets we need a scaffold I hope you cleared I hope I cleared the confusion by we need scaffold now I'll just go ahead and create a scaffold and the scaffold is going to return the widgets which which whatever we want okay so for now if I just go ahead and save that we are going to get the uh, all blank uh, blank uh, UI or blank page on the screen so can you see that we got a blank page of a scaffold now when you just write a widgets over here you're going to get the widgets of material design okay material design type so uh, now for example I need an app bar right now so I'll just go ahead and use the app bar as a new app bar and um, 
the new app bar is going to have a title and the title is going to accept a text so we should create a new text and the text is going to be um, my first app my first app so just save it and reload it uh, you're going to get the app bar present inside the uh, inside the uh, app inside the emulator so can you see that we got an app bar with a text okay so this is the way we can create an app bar now what if you want to change the color of your app bar you can just simply go ahead and um, you can just uh, use the background color and colors uh, colors dot whatever color you want you just hit the dot and you're going to get the multiple colors for example I'm going to use in purple I just go ahead and say with the the app bar is going to change the color from blue to the uh, from blue to the purple okay so uh, this is the thing which for like this is the way how you can just uh, change the color of your uh, app bar okay so um, this was all about the material app and the scaffold okay now we'll take a look on the container how our container is going to be uh, beneficial to us okay so um, we will just go ahead and get out from the um, from the from the app bar we, we we just want to stop working on the app bar and we and we need to make some some body okay some body element so we'll just go ahead and write a body over here and uh, oh, okay mm, so we got a problem over here we're gonna we're not getting we're not getting a body so we'll just take a look on something oh, okay so there's a problem where to use body so obviously we should use body outside of the app bar and um, I think we should heat a comma over here and we should use a body over here yeah exactly so uh, we should use a body and a body is going to have a new widget of text okay so a new um, instead of using a text we will first use a container okay so we'll use a container over here and inside the container we are going to create a child and that, that's that's the child is going to be our text so new text um, yeah new text and the text is going to accept the parameter as a value of our text we're going to call as hello okay so now you might be thinking what is child okay now the container is the parent element and the, the widgets which you are going to create inside the container are going to be the child of container and all the elements which is inside the container uh, are, are the child of container and the container is going to be a parent for all the elements which is present inside the container okay so we have created a hello we have saved it and if you will just go ahead and take a look you're going to get an hello world text on the on the right on the left corner of your app okay so just go ahead and take a look we got a text of hello now uh, if you will not using if you are not using a container then it's really hard to give margin and padding to this text but if you are using a container you can directly go ahead and give margin and padding okay I'll just show you how to do that so if you want you can just go inside the container and if you want to give a padding you just write a padding and you're going to give a padding of something like a new uh, age insist and of all now this all is kind of it it going to take the padding from all four sides okay so age insits dot all is going to take the padding from all the sides so and remember one thing is um, you, when you pass the values it should be in a float or in a double okay so uh, they are not going to take accept the integer the dart is not accepting the integers okay so uh, just go ahead and take uh, give the uh, value as 40.0 and the uh, the text is going to catch and padding from all the sides from 
right left bottom and top of 40 as you can see on the screen okay so um, what if you want to just keep only on one side okay what you can do is you can just change the insist you can use the another method which is given by the age insist is only okay just use this only and you can just go ahead and uh, give the padding of from left so just go ahead and give the padding left and you're going to give the uh, numbers as something like 80.0 so this going to be have a padding from a left side okay so this is the advantage of container you can just easily give margin and padding to the text which you're using okay so once you just go ahead and take a look uh, we got an element which is having a padding from the from the uh, from the left side okay so um okay so but okay uh, still we didn't got the padding right yeah we st still we didn't got the padding because is uh, we missed the comma over here and that's the reason we didn't got the padding from the left side it was the previous value i'm sorry so um now if you just go ahead and take a look come on reload it okay so as you can see the once it is reloaded and we got a padding from the left side so this is the way you can use the container to give margin and padding okay so um uh in the next video uh, i'll just show you how to use different widgets like a row column and other stuff okay and uh let's take a look and i'll just see you in my next one bye bye Take care.